We do have some really fun tech news that's more fun than talking about, you know, Russia and bands of cryptocurrency. And that is going to be a leaked benchmark of the Intel Arc Alchemist discrete desktop GPU. And this is crazy. So this is coming from video cards. They are saying that it shows 3070 Ti performance, which is absolutely nuts. The Intel Xe HPG card with 512 execution units and 2.1 gigahertz clock speed spotted. A benchmark new entry featuring Intel's highly anticipated Arc Alchemist card has been spotted over at the C Software website. According to this result, which was first spotted by two tum underscore APISAK, the card features the full 4096 core count of the Intel DG2512EU silicon. I assume that means that this card will be essentially the top of the line coming from Intel, just to be clear. This card was tested on a graphic uh, on a desktop Coffee Lake S platform, which suggests this is indeed a dis discrete desktop graphics card. The data shows it comes with a 2.1 gigahertz clock speed, which could be either the base clock or boost clock, depending on how this architecture operates in such benchmarks. Furthermore, the card is listed with 12.8 gigabytes of memory, which is probably just an error showing uh, a par uh, partially allocated 16 gigabyte frame buffer. After all, the Arc Alchemist flagship was expected to feature 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory across a 256 bit bus. This thing gets a little more interesting when looking at the performance of the GPU's general purpose processing data. The card actually scored higher, and this is interesting too because we're talking about probably something that is pretty relevant to cryptocurrency mining, just to be clear. The card actually scored higher than NVIDIA's RTX 3070 Ti GPU with a score of 9,017.52. And uh, is that megapixels? It is 7.7% faster than the NVIDIA card, which only scored 8,369.51 megapixels a second. Both cards are trading places in different precision tests. For, in, for instance, Arc Alchemist appears to be faster in half float, double float, and quad float tests, but it loses to single float tests. Ooh, baby. Okay. This thing might be a mining beast, boys. This model, <clears throat> which has not been named, will be available as mobile and desktop SKUs. Rumors suggest it might clock up to 2.5 gigahertz and feature around uh, 225 watts of typical power. It was speculated to compete against the RTX 3070 graphics card with a chance of reaching 3070 Ti performance. NVIDIA knows this very well, which is why the company has been preparing an updated 3070 Ti. We're going to get a 3070 Super? <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> the card has already been pictured and leaked by YouTuber Moore's Law is Dead. He was among the first to claim it might be able to compete with the 3070 series. Intel Alchemist will officially become available this quarter, but we might need to wait a bit for uh, more for the desktop series to launch because Intel has thus far only shown mobile OEM systems with Arc. Everything about this GPU screams that it's going to be good at mining cryptocurrency. We're talking about a 256 bit bus. We're talking about specifically general purpose processing data being better than the 3070 Ti. We're talking about 16 gigabytes of video memory. We're talking about the faster GDDR6 being installed in this. And we're talking about better half float, double float, and quad float tests. To me, everything here is pointing at a pretty dang good opportunity for mining, depending on the price point. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.